Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to January the 15th, 2024, and time for our second picture and palette for Shutterbug AU, my six month make along. Look, if you haven't joined yet, there's still plenty of time you can jump in and join. Check out the rules, there'll be a link to the um, rules video above somewhere. So guys, the first picture created great enthusiasm. A lot of people jumped in and got excited and quite a few pictures went up early. It's currently, I think there's about 11 or 12 people who've posted pictures and it's not too late to join. So make sure you jump in. Um, my projects, look, there are a lot of different projects there. Amigurumis, blankets, shawls, wearables. It's great to see. I love seeing what people are making and how they choose from the color palette and how it comes together um, it really makes worthwhile me worthwhile for me to do the make along when i get so much great feedback with the photos so my project well the shutter bug i am making the bumpy cuddle bug by hobie i have started and i decided i would you hold two dk weight yarns together now I'm a little behind because work's quite busy, but this is the start of the head of the Bumpy Cuddle Bug, and I am holding these two colours together to do the head. Now, initially, I was only going to do half the head in this colour and then do it for the next picture, but now I've decided I think it'd be better if the head was all in this colour and then the body was the rest of the um, pictures to come. So that's all I've done so far. I've got a bit more to do. The yarn I'm using was given to me by my friend Ulia. It is Yarn Maker Glitter Yarn um, I think by Birch, this one. And I did colour control it. I picked out the colours I wanted to use it. It does have a glittery thread. It's 94% acrylic, 6% um, glitter polyester. And it is a three-weight yarn. Um, Where's it made? Da -da -da -da. Made in China. And yeah, I thought I'd deconstruct one of these balls and use these colours that were in it. And that's where I got my two colour choices. I also thought the glitter would give him like a, a slug bug head, glowing head. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have tried for ages to come up with an idea for a blanket or a lap gown because I do have a lot of scraps. And I tried different ones and looked at them and ummed and ahed because I make a lot of lap gowns. But today I decided, no, Sunday morning I decided, I was watching Jan the Alaskan Crafter and she is doing a double dip. I love a double dip. <laughs> she is joining Shutterbug using the colours and making squares to go in to, I think it's, Crochet 80 HD. There'll be a link to the the channel in below below. I've never watched her before. I did watch her. I really enjoyed her channel and she's doing a make along. It's hip to be square. And you make 24 squares for the year depending on the size. So Jan is combining two and doing a double dip. I have no issues with people doing a double dip where you choose something from mine and share it with another make along it's always great to support us content creators and crafters look last year don't tell anyone i triple dipped i did one project for three so there you go make it easy on yourself if you're going to do shutterbug why not combine it with another make along such as it's hit to be square which made me decide now for those of you who've been with me for a while will know I hate squares. I'll make the squares, they all turn out different, I can't join them properly and they've been a bugbear of my crochet life for a very long time. But 2024 for me is about improving my skills in everything, crochet, knitting, um, human kindness, everything. So I decided I'd do the squares and I would use my Shutterbug um, make along as well to do a lap gown. Now, the book I decided to pick the square from is part of my Gifts of Kindness. This was a gift to me by Janice in Victoria. Hi, Janice. 
Yes, I have picked a square out of here. Now I've got to find that. I think it was 93. It is the crisscross square. But I am going to do them in solid colours. That's another thing about squares I don't really like is all the ends. So what I have done is my first square to have a go and see whether I like it. Ta -da! My crisscross square. So I've solid coloured it and then I've put a second colour around the outside. And I'm thinking maybe I should learn to join as I go, learn better than I do. These are six by six. It's the Marvel, um, Marvel Spotlight yarn, our local yarn, 100% acrylic. And I'm using a 3.75 crochet hook. And it does turn out really well. I haven't disconnected the yarn yet because I'm thinking... Should I have a joining colour? And my joining colour, when I go to my stash, I have a lot of brown. And I thought, oh, chocolate brown is joining colour. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and recommend a great tutorial on join squares as you go. If you've done one and you think it's awesome, please share the link with me. But I'm going to be making squares and at the end of it, I'll put it together in a lap gown. Now it won't be just shutter bug squares because there won't be enough. But I'm also doing other projects and if there are scraps left over, I'm going to do squares. I've worked out I need about 36 squares, six by six, to make the size lap gown and then add a border. But yes, and I really enjoy this book. Um, I really explored through it on Sunday it teaches you how to make a blanket by mixing and matching different squares. So if you see down here, it recommends the crisscross square and then these two other squares to make a blanket. Also in this book, which I thought was absolutely awesome, there are 200 blocks, different squares. It is in the English terminology, which... I was confused at first. I'm trying to find block directory. That's the direct. It tells you how to make a blanket using different color blocks. Oh, blocks, look at those. There are some awesome blankets you could make. And it tells you how to do it. So there you have it. 200 crochet blocks for blankets, rows and afghans. Jan Eaton. Thank you, Janice. It's a great gift and I am enjoying it. So I'm finally making squares. Yes, don't faint. Make sure you're sitting down when I tell you. So second picture for Shutterbug AU. Better get this moving along. It is a photo from our wind-up trip last year. Um, things surprised me with a stop off in Amsterdam. There are lots of beautiful things to see in Amsterdam. Unfortunately, the tulips weren't in bloom. But when we arrived in Amsterdam, we were quite tired and it was quite late afternoon. Um, I wasn't impressed flying, flying KLM. And as my son said in London, I don't know why you didn't train it over. It would have been better. But anyway, when we finally settled in our room, which was lovely and the people there were lovely, we usually go for a walk and we hadn't eaten so we decided we'd go for a late lunch, early dinner, but we'd walk first. With no maps, just wandering. And we came across this place where the gates were open and we wandered in. And there in the forecourt area was a pond with pink flamingos. I was blown away. I love flamingos. It turns out it's the zoo. So a bit of history on the zoo. It is... Now, I've got to get it around. It's known as the Ar Artist Zoo. I, don't, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Artist Zoo. Nat Natura Artis Mag Magistra, Latin for nature, is the teaching of art. It's an old zoo, but it is beautiful. It's got botanical gardens. It's in the centre of Amsterdam, and it's the oldest zoo in the Netherlands. The fifth oldest zoo in the world. In addition to the zoo, there's an aquarium, planetarium, a water, microperia, and group museum. It's just 
an amazing place. We actually didn't go inside the zoo. We had far too much in our schedule, but if we ever go back to Amsterdam, I'd really like to go and wander through it and see the animals. The zoo was founded in 1838 by the three W's. Uh, they're three gentlemen with their surnames started with W's and I'm not even gonna try and pronounce them. It, it initially only opened to members. Starting in 1851, it was open to the public during the month of September. In 1920, it was opened year round to the public, but September remains the discount month. So the photo I'm going to share with you is going, it was for our Shutterbug AU, it was inspired by coming across these pink flamingos late afternoon. Just bear with me, I have to use my laptop today. For some reason, my iPad won't fire up. So here you go. Photo number two. I'm just hoping that's, can you see the pinks, the that's actually a dark green. Look, there'll be a, a copy of this photo at the end of the video. So make sure you check it out and enjoy it. But I love pink flamingos. I really do. I think they're really majestic and beautiful. So the palette on the photo introduces pale pink beiges, dark and pale green. I thought I'd want the palette to, to flow for people making larger projects and I'm going to be picking and choosing and trying getting them to flow but don't think they're all going to be dull and green and dark there are some amazing bright colored photos coming and photos not just in Europe um, there's Japan there's Perth Western Australia there's St Petersburg's Russia there's Victoria in Australia. There's just everywhere. I have so many photos. The difficulty is actually picking one. So I hope you enjoy putting the colours together from the palette, introducing some pale pink and beiges to go along with our greens. Don't forget, remember to post your pictures using the hashtag ShutterbugAU on Instagram on the Facebook group page and remember if you don't know social media you can always email me your photos I got photos on Sunday morning from Chantelle P in Montreal she's joining our make along it's awesome to have someone from Canada um, we usually get quite a few from the USA and quite a few from Australia odd one or two from the UK and very rarely do I get many from Canada. So welcome Chantelle. I hope you enjoy the make along. Guys, that's it for Shutterbug. A bit long today because I got a bit long winded about my squares. But let me know in the comments below. Do you know an easy tutorial to join as you go? And um, any other recommendations you can make that I may enjoy making squares. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.